Hello everyone, I am Jan from Vsharedom. Today we will learn how to use Penlane. Penlane is a cross-platform Python library for differentiable programming of quantum computers. It basically helps us to train a quantum computer the same way as a neural network. Today we will make our baby steps. We will uh, learn how to create a device and make a node between a device and a circuit. First, we have to import Penlane. We import Penlane as QML, means quantum machine learning. Then we have to use NumPy from Penlane. We have to import NumPy from Penlane because most of the NumPy versions couldn't fit with the Penlane uh, correctly. So we have our facial NumPy version in Penlane library. Uh, actually, we will not. We won't use. Uh, NumPy in this video, but we just write that code. So, firstly, we have to create a device. Uh, I create a variable named div1 and make a quantum device with qml.device. And after parentheses, first thing we have to write is the name of our quantum computers, computer. We may use uh, a quantum computer of IBM or Amazon or other quantum computer uh, if we have access. But we don't have to dig it too much in this video, so we will use simulation, default that qubit simulation. It's, it comes with pen lane. Then uh, after comma, we write wires equals one, two, three, or whatever we want. Wires actually mean qubits. We will only need one qubit in this code, so we write rise equals one. After that, forget about the sixth line, we will come back there. Uh, at the seventh line, we are creating a function, circuit function, input params. Params is just list with uh, parameters that we want to use uh, in our gates. And after that, we are uh, using qml.rx and qml.ri, or a, or whatever you say. Uh, they are basically rx and ra gate. Uh, it, they rotate our qubits uh, in the x direction and y direction. And after qml.rx, after parenthesis, we have to write our parameter that we want to use in rx gate. And we are using params 0, rx, and params 1 in ri. And after that, after comma, we have to say, in which qubit we want to use the state. And we are, we have only one qubit, uh, virus equals zero because uh, it is zero index. Uh, computer starts counting from zero. That's why it's virus equals zero. And after that, uh, we are taking QML.PAULDV. It's basically a PAULDV gate. And after PAULDV gate, we don't need uh, any parameter. So we only write our Qubit, in which qubit we want to use PAULDV gate. We may write wires equals zero, but it doesn't even matter. We can only write zero. And before that, we take the expectation value. So what we have done is first we are using Rx gate and Ra gate. Then we are using PAULDV gate. Then in the final state, we are taking the expectation value of our qubit. And we are taken, we are given it, our functions gives it as return, uh, return. So we take our expectation value and we wait to give expectation value from this function. But there is a problem. We have a device, we have a circuit, but how do we connect them? We, we need a node. And in the sixth line, uh, at QML, that Q node uh, creates a node with our device and circuit. And after Q naught in parentheses, we have to write in which device we want to use. Our, we want to um, work with our circuit or whatever you say. So for my bad English. Uh, and we have to do, we have to write that at QML.Q naught just uh, before our circuit function doesn't work in other ways. We have to write just before that. 
And in 12 uh, line, we print that with our parameters that we write, and we wait to give us an uh, expectation value. That's right. And it gives uh, us an expectation value. That's all for now. Give a thumbs up for next videos. If you want us to make more videos, give a thumbs up. And bye for now.